When I was nine, my parents remodeled our old basement into a rec room with a Betamax recorder. The first game we taped was Georgetown versus North Carolina in the 1982 NCAA championship. It was a historic game. Michael Jordan. Carolina won and my beloved Georgetown lost. Michael Jackson, my hometown hero from my high school, was on his way to Georgetown. Everyone on Georgetown's bench was black. I was instantly part of Hoya paranoia. It was the 80s, the Reagan era, not the heyday for black people. But here was John Thompson who represented excellence, hope, a future, and his teams were winners. Georgetown, that's the ball game, the national champion. He graduated his players, beat his opponents, and stood for principles only a few others in basketball ever did. I don't have any problem with people questioning what we do. I have a problem if they don't understand that we are educating young kids. Because he thought it was discriminatory, he walked off the court to protest Proposition 48, where college freshmen were not allowed to play if their academic standing was not at a certain level. As a basketball historian, he represented a continuation of the legacy of the black pioneer, John McClendon, the first great black coach whom Coach Thompson referenced when he won his first championship in 1984. In 1988, I was a sophomore in high school and John Thompson was actively recruiting me. I will never forget his presence, his size, his demeanor in small high school gyms in Northern Virginia and throughout the DMV. He was a winner. He was a living hero. For many black players who had no male role model, he provided a strong presence that influenced a generation. My mom went to Georgetown and begged him to give me a chance. And he did. Coach Thompson was saving my life. He was bold, stubborn, relentless, but he had to be. Pioneers show those traits. I hate that I'm like this in front of you right now, man. No, no. I respect you for showing these emotions. You're putting the burden of this team on your shoulders, aren't you? His legacy lives on not only in those who played for him, but in all coaches who emulate him today. But as much as he opened doors for black head coaches, too often they are not given the time, the understanding, or the benefit of the doubt afforded to non-black coaches. The last time I saw him was at the 2019 NCAA tournament where he was broadcasting for Westwood One Radio. His broadcast booth was right next to ours, and it was my personal joy to broadcast the NCAA games alongside him, enjoying the excitement of the tournament. Throughout these shared moments, his trademark humor, wisdom, and insights were always on display. There will never, ever be another John Thompson. His impact and influence looms large over the game of basketball and will for generations. Thank you, Coach Thompson, for being proudly black, shattering barriers, and being the role model that I and so many young athletes needed. Rest in peace and rest in power.